Hi there. I wanted to make my Blackmagic rig more mobile so I could film action shots. I love it for its color signs and the cinematic picture that it makes. As Blackmagic Pocket 6K Cinema Camera has no IBIS or any image stabilization in it, I decided to invest in a Steadicam system. I really loved the idea of Array Trinity and started looking for something similar in affordable price range. My choice was between tilt -to float and Tanus Pro 2 by Digital Photo. I did research both and ended up choosing Tanus Pro 2 for the following reasons. I found that tilt -to float doesn't supply counterweights and a pendulum in the package. That's an extra item you got to buy. And if you don't have V-mount batteries to counterweight your camera, you're out of luck using it straight out of the box. The other reason was the belt, that didn't look comfortable enough, and the arm, that did not look robust. The whole reason that I got this was to take a lot of the stress off my back and my hips, and I know I didn't use the shoulder strap, but that belt hurts so bad, I can't even... I've never sweat so much in my life in such a short period of time, and I didn't like it at all. With Thanos Pro 2, you get a metal vest with three straps that evenly distributes the weight around your body. Carbon fiber monopod. You get plenty of counterweights. A V-mount battery plate with USB, 14.8 D-tap, 8V, 12V, 15V outputs. A bunch of labeled cords and a poorly designed magic arm. Thanos build quality is impressive. Easy setup, intuitive adjustments, and the fact that I don't need to purchase any additional accessories to use it made my choice. Balancing is easy. Install the counterweights and adjust the balance by extending or contracting the monopod. To balance the roll axis, simply shift one of the counterweights sideways till your gimbal stays in the right roll position. Mark the spot on the monopod so you can quickly switch between vertical and horizontal modes. I use Moza Air 2 gimbal as you can control each axis individually and adjust the sensitivity on the fly without going into the app. And it's cheap, you can buy it for as low as 250 US new. The payload is 9 pounds or 4.2 kg. I've never used a Steadicam system before, so this experience was new, and surprisingly, more positive than I expected. Though even that the system holds the weight and balances your steps, there are still things to practice. At first, it was difficult, but then I got the hang of it and it just flew. After a couple of hours, we started doing more complex composite shots. Wearing the vest and running the fields for 3 hours straight didn't make my back sore, which surprised me, as I'm not very fit. I know I wouldn't be able to film this long with a gimbal alone. In summary, I do recommend it. I cannot imagine doing dynamic shooting with a heavy rig for this long. But remember, as with every tool, there is a learning curve. I will leave you with the footage, you know what to do when you like a video make beauty, and till next time.